Hello all you beautiful artists. Today we are going to draw a painting inspired by the beautiful work of the contemporary artist Amira Rahim who hails from New Jersey. Her Grand Mosque in Color is an inspirational work of art. It is a colorful and abstract representation of the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. The materials you require is a white sheet of paper, A4 or bigger, watercolors, brush and a pencil. So let's begin. Begin by keeping your paper horizontal, that is the long side should be facing your body. And lightly sketch the outline of the Grand Sheikh Zayed Masjid in Abu Dhabi. You can either do that or any of your favorite masjids that you want. Now remember, we are only concentrating on the outline. I am drawing it dark so that you can see it in the camera, but make sure you draw it very lightly because you do not want any pencil marks to be seen. Draw a horizontal line and make semicircular domes, or you can change the shape of the domes, but the onion shaped domes are very typical of Islamic architecture. Make them at varying heights and add a minaret besides them. It is a very common sight in Islamic countries, very easy to draw. So you can either draw the Grand Masjid in Abu Dhabi or you can draw a different one, whatever you like. Now remember, we are only drawing the silhouette or the outline of the Masjid. We are not going into too many details. Make sure that you have them at varying heights because there is no outline, so it will be difficult to understand what you are drawing. Once you're happy with your outline, which needs to be drawn very, very lightly, all we need are watercolors and a brush and let's begin. Now, how I like to paint it is, I like to start from one corner of the watercolor set and then work my way towards the other. So I start with the lights and mix them with darks. Make sure that your surface is wet when you start painting so that the colors can blend on the surface. There is no particular format of coloring it so you can mix your own colors you can use analogous you can use complementary whatever suits your style and all we have to do is just paint it and mix them on the surface with water Now, one of the techniques that the artist used to give that water dropping effect at the end of the painting, at the bottom of the painting, was she used a straw to blow the paints. Now, if you do not have a straw, you can do what I did. Tilt your uh, wet paints on one side and let the watercolors flow towards the bottom. Or you can grab a tissue and dab them or a sponge. There's so many different ways to this technique. <laughs> 